All right, if you're planning on turning this into a cell phone speaker, what I've done, instead of leaving it round, like what we did here for the piggy bank, see how it's a roundish shape here, okay? We've taken this and I've kind of, you know, patted it down so it gives it more of like an amplification effect, similar to the one that we have here. It's kind of squished, so hopefully it helps to make that sound boom a little bit more. I also have, you're going to have to cut a couple slits in this for your cell phone and for like a powering cord would be my recommendation. So I have some templates here for like the size of a cell phone, uh, like an iPhone 6. I don't know what kind of cell phone you have, iPhone 7. So you want to make them something kind of like those sizes there, although I can't tell what everybody's cell phone is, okay? Um, but I can look it up. So what you're going to do is we want to cut this. So I'm going to, you'll call me over and we will take the wire tool and cut this. Now this piece here you could turn into a little bowl if you wanted to or it doesn't matter, it's up to you. But you can see on the inside here that we have this area, okay, where the two pieces overlap. So what we need to do with that is we're going to have to get a rib and you're going to smooth that out. So you want the inside of this nice and smooth, which might take a little while. Now you can't paddle it, you just have to use your rib for this case. And to get down on the inside here, you might have to go the whole way back, like this. And smooth it out as best as you can. You can also use your sponge to smooth it out, um, but you don't want to change the shape of this too much. So you can see I've started to smooth it out here. You can use your finger some to go in and smooth it out. You want to do that the whole way around. 